Hello everyone, it is Susan here and welcome to my channel. So in this video, I want to dye this piece of fabric. I am going to be using this in my June Roxy's Journal of Stitchery journal. And the prompts for this month are hearts and also like dyeing or painting um, fabrics. So I'm gonna use this Mr. Huey's and some uh, tea dye. And um, I was definitely inspired by Tina from Shabby Dabby Duda because she just recently did a video of like a tour of her room and she showed this beautiful pink fabric and it was just a stunning, stunning pink. And she said to use some tea and to add just a small, small dropper of red food dye. But I don't have red food dye, so I'm going to use this Mr. Huey's. Um, gosh, I've had this Mr. Huey's probably for about 10 years. <laughs> so I think it's time to, to use some of it. <laughs> and so... At first, I tried just dropping a little bit in. And, um, you know, because all I can remember is Tina saying, you know, just a little, little drop, just a little drop. And, and um, so, yeah, so I was trying and it wasn't working very well at all. It was kind of going on the inside of the glass there, but it wasn't really going into the tea so then I decided well I'm just going to dunk this whole thing in there and that way I knew that there would be some of that spray actually in the tea. So I'm going to use this little spoon and let's give it a stir and then I'm like oh my gosh well you know hey I can just you know hold some of the liquid up in that spoon and I can see the color. So, but it was not like pink at all. So I decided to pour some in. So we're gonna stir it again. And I'm um, okay, so I'm liking it. It's, it's looking better. It's looking a little bit peachy to me. So I pour a whole bunch more in. Now you can't see how much I'm pouring in, but I'm pouring in a good amount. And so this I liked. I could have stopped at this point, but no, 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 no. So I pour in a whole bunch more <laughs> and look it. I'm like, oh, all right. So I was happy with that. So now I am going to put that piece in that mason jar, but I just want to get a paper towel ready so that when I take it out, I have somewhere to put it. And, um, yeah, so here goes. And you know, sometimes when you dye fabric, you have to leave it in there for a while, but this dyed like really fast, and sometimes it does. So um, yeah, I took it out, gave it a good squeeze, and I'm gonna lay it out, and we're gonna take a look at how beautiful this looks. And I liked that, like all the embroidery part of it, was still very visible, right? It didn't affect that at all. Um, it did not dye the embroidery thread. And um, so I'm really, really, really liking that. I think it's quite stunning. And, but then, well, well. <laughs> if it looked good going in once, it must look a lot better going in twice. <laughs> So I did it again and, you know, and either way would have been fine. I would have been happy with it, you know, dunking it in once or dunking it in twice. I thought both times were really pretty. I mean, it definitely got pinker and, but not a lot. I mean, not a lot. It's still that very, almost shabby looking um, color and I like it very, very much. So be sure to check out my video on Wednesday because I did add a little bit extra Mr. Huey's to that heart. 